Welcome to Excellence in Excel. I'm Nick Wong and in this video you will learn how you can edit a conditional formatting rule. So imagine right now we have our formatting rule, conditional formatting rules active. However, we want to adjust the colors and we want to adjust the rule here basically so how can we do this well very simple if you want to adjust the rule step one is to select where the rule is active and once you have that you can click here on conditional formatting and we go down all to the bottom you can see manage rules select this and once you select this a pop-up screen shows and in here we can see right now we only have one rule active Select this rule, click on edit, and once you click on edit, let's change some colors. Imagine you want this instead of green, you want this blue. So you can see here the option for the positive values, we can do this, and for the negative values, we can make it a purple design. There's an option for any kind of borders, not necessary, and all kind of options here. However, this is not really interesting. The only thing we want to change is the colors. So we click now on OK and then again to confirm. Now it becomes blue. And if we have a negative value in here, let's say instead of 2000, we have minus 2000, it becomes purple, as you can see here. So you can see here now our rules have been changed and everything is matching up exactly as we want. So this is really a way how we can adjust any conditional formatting rule so if you have these these are different rules regarding to color scales select your conditional formatting manage the rules and you can see here let's click on edit the rule and we have your all options what we want to do so what is the midpoint we can adjust it even we can adjust the colors we can make it any kind of color you want you can select here was the center moment this is in percentile uh, you can do percentage, numbers, anything which you want. You can go very deep on this. So this is really, really useful for you. If you want to control certain aspects of your dashboard or your table to make it easier to read. And this is how you adjust conditional formatting rules. So if you like tips and tricks regarding to Excel, check out the link below. In there, you can find a wonderful Excel course. It goes all deep in different type of Excel topics. Or if you have any questions regarding to Excel, just post them in the comments and I'll make sure I'll follow up back to you.